So today we're going to look at how to set up a new Active Directory instance on a Windows machine for use with MicroFocus Enterprise servers. We'll also be using this Windows Adsy Edit tool as that gives us a direct view on the new repository. And we will be running the ESLDAP setup script that comes with the product in order to populate the new Active Directory with the MicroFocus resources etc. Right, we're going to set up a new Active Directory instance on this machine. So in the control panel, we have the Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services Setup Wizard, ADLDS. So on to next. So we want to create a new unique instance. We're going to give it a meaningful name, ADLDS2016, because that's when I'm creating it. I'm going to give it a port number, so it defaults to some number which I'm going to change to 10 and 50,011. The default would normally be 389. That's already been used, so it seems to jump up to a spare port. And do you want to create an application directory partition? Yes. Partition name. Now this is where we put the microfocus, this well-known phrase or saying, CN equals microfocus, CN equals program data, DC equals local and next so it gives me a default directory which is fine so the network service account is fine and currently logged on user is me I'm administrator so that's okay for that as well now we do want to import the MS user class resources into this repository this is done by selecting MS user LDF so this is the summary, um, a unique install of ADLDS, it's called ADLDS 2016. Uh, you're going to go on those ports, it's going to store it in a location which we're not too bothered about. It's going to run on network service, I'm allowed to administer it. And it's importantly here using this directory partition and it's going to include some MS users. So we say next. So now we've finished setting up that instance. So now using Adsy Edit, we can see what the repository we have just created looks like. So we have a connect to our MicroFocus Program Data DC local. This is called ADLDS2016, although I could call it anything in this view. But importantly, I want to go to I had these already, but you can type it in from scratch. 50010. And under advanced, I need to specify my credentials. We now have ADLDS 2016. However, it's not populated with anything useful for Enterprise Server. All it's got is some basic uh, Windows the properties there for administrators show that the member of the administrators is just the administrators group. OK, so that's where we've got to so far. So now we need to run the setup script that comes with the product. So we go to our bin directory and we run ESLDAP setup. We can specify a hyphen there to say I can use my currently logged on user. Give me a bit of blurb. The default partition is the one I entered, so that should be fine. The local host is different, or rather the port 50010. So it's connected. It's now going to import the enterprise server user definitions. So these are using the standard LDF files that come with the product to populate the repository. So now I'm going to do the same with the enterprise server containers. Adds MF reader as the Adam, which is the Active Directory LDS forerunner. So the Adam user is going to make our MF reader a real Active Directory user. And now it's going to import stuff from the RDO file, which we don't have because I'm not running it from my region. But now it's going to importantly extract uh, MFDS repository resources and groups and so on. And then it's going to import those into the Active Directory and other resource definitions now coming in. Default information. Does some other stuff with the passwords. 
One task report is an error, which was the importing of the CAS users. Well, we can do that separately. We can look in the documentation to see how to export the RDO file if you've got specific users in there that need to go into Active Directory. But at this stage, we should have all the default stuff. So if we go back to ADC Edit, so ADC Edit tells me that the it needs a, it needs a user. So I right click here, go back into settings, go on to advance and again username and then it lets me in, uh, say OK and now we see that here we've got a load more entries populated and importantly we've got all the enterprise server resources, enterprise server groups, enterprise server users, so in, for example we've got sysad in there, and enterprise server resources, we've got the enterprise server administration we have things like opera commands and cas start where it will tell you that sys adm group is allowed to do stuff with cas start but no one else is allowed to run cas start so that's how you set up a new instance of adlds on windows for use with enterprise server you can look at the next video in the series which shows you how to configure Enterprise Server itself to use this security manager or one like it to secure MFDS and the regions. Thank you for watching.